Hey there YouTube, got another box from Bud K today. In this one I have a $25 value mystery bag, also the United Cutlery Tactical Comma, and a Bones Brass Knuckles Paper Weight. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up now, and uh, we'll kind of go through everything and see what we got today. Looks like it's not in a bag this time. The items are just kind of placed in there. Let's go ahead and pull them all out. And then of course the uh, paperwork and a couple of catalogs. United Cutlery catalog and the Christmas edition catalog that I've already received in the mail as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set these aside. And uh, we'll start with this. So, all right, so this is the Broken Bones Knuckle Guard Paperweight. Brass knuckles, for lack of a better term. And uh, I really like the way this one looked. And, uh, yeah, looks pretty nice. like it. Looks well made. It says China right there. We'll get that label out of there. Um, pretty heavy. And uh, looks pretty well built. Going to be a nice addition to my collection. Uh, next we have the tactical comma and usual packaging you get with the United Cutlery items and so this is what it looks like uh, I'm glad it's a little on the heavy side I was expecting since it wasn't as big as the other ones that it wouldn't be as heavy but uh, this is actually really nice uh, much more heavy duty than I thought it would be. Sharp, same as uh, same as all the others, same as usual. Um, not really much of a point, which I'm surprised of, considering the others, the axe and uh, some of the other United Cutler items have a fairly sharp point, but this one uh, not so much. Um, but the blade is nice and sharp. <clears throat> uh, obviously very thick. And so that's kind of how thick the blade is there. It's probably about a half an inch thick. Um, at the blade itself, of course, obviously, you can see here it's not full tang like they normally are not. Uh, it goes down to about here, <clears throat> but that's okay. Uh, nice. I, I like it. It's nice in the hand and uh, feels pretty uh, pretty nice. You can imagine uh, stabbing a zombie right in the head with that. So, uh, sheath, your typical uh, nylon sheath. Uh, slides in fairly nice. And snap. You have your belt uh, belt loop here, which is extremely tight. I can't imagine. You probably would actually have to take it out yeah, and slide your belt in that way first, and then uh, put it back in there. Uh, simple one, snap. And uh, that's it for the comma. Pretty nice. Okay, so these are the four items that I got for the $25 value, of which I paid about $13 for, um, and I had the 30% off with this deal. Um, so I have everything that I purchased, it was about $58, I believe, after shipping, uh, so pretty good deal. So these are the four items that I got for the $25 value, and we'll go ahead and open these up. This is the first Ridge Runner. Yeah, that's nice. Got a like wood, got a wood handle, and uh, kind of a brushed nickel-looking metal, uh, which I like. And it looks like it has a okay, well, a speed assist, which is not so speedy. <laughs> and uh, and it's got a right-hand thumb stud, and a fairly straightforward blade. Mm, pretty sharp. It's nice. Looks like this is not reversible, but uh, that's okay. So stainless china, and I guess the model number RR403 on the side, and then of course your blade release there. It's pretty stiff, I have to say. I'm kind of surprised. A little on the stiff side. 
if you can hear it, but it sounds like it's rubbing a little bit. Probably a little WD-40 or some kind of a lubricating oil uh, in there might help take care of that. Um, overall, uh, a nice little knife. I wish it was, uh, since I am left-handed, I wish it had a left-handed uh, thumb stud or this actually worked because uh, as it is right now, can't really do much with that. So the single-handed becomes a two-handed process. All right. So I like this one. I like the way it looks. I like the brush nickel um, and the wood. It's kind of a nice looking knife. Okay. Another ridge runner. All right, so this one's kind of metal frame and uh, it's all black, kind of smooth. Even though it does look like it's textured, it's still fairly smooth. <clears throat> Belt clip. Two thumb studs, one on each side, which is good for me, left-handed. Uh, it says Ridge Runner on the side, and then RR660, stainless steel made in China on the other. Um, has your little seat belt cutter, or cord cutter, and your glass breaker there. <clears throat> Doesn't have a quick release uh, on it, which I do tend to prefer, but that's okay. Not a bad little, not a bad little knife. Got a Black Legion, and I actually already have one of these, which I had listed for sale, and then I took it down because I really wanted to keep it. So I'm actually kind of glad that this is the second one of these that I got. I'm not too fond of the shape of the blade, but I do like that it's the um, the uh, biohazard symbol on there with the um, stonewashed look. So uh, I like this one. Now at least I can uh, use the one that I have and sell this one. Um, has a quick release there. Let's try that out. And that works pretty good. Locks in place nice and tight. Two thumb studs on both sides. So uh, I like that one. I'm glad I got another one of those. Oh, um, this one is model BV266 and it says China there on the side. And then moving in onto last but not least, the Kissing Crane. This is actually the first time I've gotten a Kissing Crane from Bud K, which is cool. And I like the way that looks, kind of the old grandpa style, or I don't know what you call it, but um, looks pretty nice on the side here. It says corn squeezing, 200 proof moonshine. And right there on this side, it says, uh, let's see, 1946 little barrel there. <clears throat> I like the way this one is. It's fairly heavy duty. It feels nice. And we open it up on this side. This side it says Mountain Delicacy Bootleggers Premium. Nice sharp blade, I like that. And then on this one, it says Squeezins, App Squeezins Appalachian Distilled Spirits 200 Proof Corn Kissing Crane since 1834. Again, sharp blade there, I like that. So that's a nice little pocket knife. I actually, uh, my, like I said, my first time getting a kissing crane from Bud K. And I uh, do like that style, like the look of it. It's nice and heavy duty. And uh, it's got a, like a, a light brass. And um, obviously the steel. So good contrast in colors. And uh, um, inside also is a little kissing crane certificate of authenticity. All right, so that was my order from Bud K this time. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you again on the next one.